Hey guys, so this is not the video I had planned to make today. I actually was really excited about um, finally making my highly suggested music playlist video. Um, and I had so many cool ideas about shooting that and putting that up today. Um, but I worked at Disney today and around like 10.30 a.m. me and a bunch of the other people in the break room all found out at once about uh, Kobe Bryant's plane crash or helicopter crash and uh, the day just has not been the same since. Um, I'm really shaken up about it. All of LA is. Um, if you don't know me or my channel, I live in LA and Kobe Bryant obviously is from LA. He played for the Lakers. I just feel really sad about it. Um, not even because I was ever a huge Kobe Bryant fan in the sense like I was never like I never idolized him, you know, it wasn't, I didn't grow up with the Lakers, but it's just such a tragedy and his daughter Gianna was only 13 and had so many dreams and his family, his wife who lost her husband and her daughter in the same day and she's a postpartum mother with three other girls. God, I'm like so, I'm, I'm like so anxious right now, I'm like seizing up. Sorry if I'm awkward. I'm just like, I don't know. It's very triggering for me, like this loss. Um, after I lost one of my best friends a couple years ago, um, somebody who was gone way before their time and didn't get a chance to live out their dreams or the things they wanted to do. And so, you know, this is very triggering for me and it makes me really upset. Um, you know, there was, there was another girl, young girl on that plane too, the Altobelli family. Alto Belly family. It was Orange Coast College, which is an LA community college. Their baseball coach, his wife, and their teenage daughter died as well. They were um, the two daughters, Gianna, um, Kobe Bryant's daughter, and the other, um, the Alto Belly daughter, both played on the same basketball team that was coached by Kobe Bryant. And the pilot died, I don't know his or her name, and then two others as well. Um, that are unconfirmed right now and nine people total and it's just such a tragedy and I don't know all of LA is like really hurting right now all the radio stations are are talking about it um, I on my drive home from Disney like you know the malls like the marquees are all talking about it it's like a huge a huge tragedy right now I mean it's all over social media the Alta Belli family left behind two kids I don't know I just feel like very upset and shaken up and it's just so not fair that that people, you know, get taken away when they haven't had a chance to live out their dreams or their full potential. It's just so not fair and it makes me feel very upset and so it didn't feel right to put out any video about anything else right now. So I apologize for not putting out like a more exciting video today but I just like, it would feel so fake for me to put out like a cheerful, excitable music playlist video or like an outfit haul shopping video today because it just like that's not how I'm feeling. I'm feeling really upset. And like all of LA and a lot of the world is feeling really upset right now. Um, it's just, yeah, so, ugh, it's just not fair. But I guess the takeaway from this, at the, you know, that we all know is that, uh, you know, something I just realized so heartily when my friend Mina passed away um, a couple years ago is that there's absolutely nothing in life that is guaranteed, you know? Just because I'm young and in my 20s doesn't mean a tragedy couldn't happen tomorrow. You know, children, our parents, our friends, our, our loved ones, like there's no guarantee that any of us get one more day, you know? So each day that we are given is such a blessing. It's just such a blessing to be alive and to be able to, you know, give love and, and goodness and make a change in the world and, you know, make an impact and, you know, I... So that's all, I just, I guess just wanna say, you know, take time right now, go, you know, text your parents, you know, your kids, if you have them, you know, your friends, just like tell them how much you love them and how much they mean to you and do something good today. I don't know, go buy, buy the Starbucks for the person in front of you or donate to a charity or, um, I don't know, buy some food for, you know, someone who's homeless or something just do do something nice you know make the world a better place because you know at the end of the day nothing is guaranteed so we should just do the most good 
that we can and be the best people we can and love as much as we can you know while we can last thing if you have dreams if you have something you want to do and you're stuck in a career you hate or you're stuck in a bad relationship or you're you know something's not going well just get out of it you know pursue your passion and your dreams because if you could die tomorrow do you want to have that be your legacy or do you want to be the person who followed your passions and respected yourself and loved yourself so just i don't know i uh, seize the day really do seize every day that we've got I'm gonna go, you know spend some time and reach out to my loved ones and kind of just take a night off i think i'm kind of we're all kind of really shaken up about this so um i do plan on bringing that music playlist video to you guys really soon probably this week um, so just bear with me and uh, I'm looking forward to bringing that to you guys, but I definitely need a better headspace than right now. So um, thanks for watching this video and for being supportive. Um, I love you guys so much. Thanks for watching my channel and um, go tell people you love them and uh, do an act of kindness today. So, all right, that's all. Have a good Sunday. Bye guys.